So today we're here at uh, Steam Brewing Company. Going to be doing a special collaboration brew between Epic and Steam Brewing. I started out working for the Steam Brewing Company, which was the uh, brewing division of the Cock and Bull Pubs uh, back in 97. They started in 95, so it's 20 years since uh, they set up their brewery. Smell the beer. I moved to this uh, operation in uh, late 2004 and created the Epic brand, ultimately buying the Epic brand, and uh, here we are today. The mill here in the background is the original mill from the Cock and Bull. So this mill's been going 20 years and has made some of the best beer ever, ever brewed in New Zealand. We're making this beer which is uh, in celebration of Epic's 10th birthday. And it's also gonna be the thousandth brew brewed here at this brewery under the ownership of Steam Brewing Company. We interrupt this video to bring you a super quick Epic timeline. In 1997, Luke is hired by Steam Brewing as their assistant brewer. That's a sweet job. In 1999, Monk's Habit wins Supreme Champion Beer of New Zealand. That's a sweet beer. In 2005, Epic Pale Ale is released to the masses. That is a sweet beer. In 2006, Epic Pale Ale wins Supreme Champion Beer of New Zealand. Next level. In 2007, Luke acquires Epic from Steam Brewing, and so it begins. In 2008, Armageddon's first batch is brewed. That's one of my favorite beers. I love that beer. I wish I had more of that beer. In 2009, Luke brews Epic Pale Ale for the J.D. Weatherspoon's International Real Ale Festival. <gasps> In 2010, Luke did a collaboration brew with Sam Killer Johnny from Dogfish Head, which resulted in a sweet-ass border called Porto Murillo. The guy on the left is Sam Killer Johnny. Luke's on the right, and the other guy's a dude who made that sweet-ass piece of artwork out of toast. In 2013, Epic wins a tender to supply Sweden with Armageddon IPA. In 2015, Armageddon IPA wins a hat-trick of trophies at the Australian, New Zealand, and Swedish Bear Awards. Sweet. A thousand brews is pretty significant, so we thought we'll come together and collaborate and create a beer together to celebrate. 10 years of epic and a thousand brews at steam brewing. No, you just gotta have to go with the gut. You're gonna get fitness, but how much flavor are you gonna get? Okay, I mean, let, let's do 60 kilos of liberty. Look how huge that number is. We haven't really done a lot of beer since the cock and bull beers. Uh, so it's quite nice to be able to, to put your name and, and a little bit of input towards something like this. And this beer itself is pretty special. It's, it's kind of a really, really big old ale, but a little bit more than that. It's kind of a hybrid between an old ale and a barley wine. <laughs> I've fallen into the mash tub. <laughs> it encompasses a whole bunch of different malts that we've used historically. It encompasses five different yeasts that uh, selected from some of the classic beers we've been made. Hey, bro, that's not cool. This is like super special secret stuff. So the Celebration Ale is, uh, is big and it's strong. It's 12%. Something that's going to be able to be aged maybe another 10 years. Something to sit down and sip. Something to share with friends and, and reflect. Kind of reflecting on uh, how we got to this point in time and also celebrating the the journey that we've had to, to get here, the awards we've won, the working together. It's pretty special because even though we're calling this a collaboration, we pretty much collaborate on a daily basis. Myself at Epic coming up with ideas, um, new recipes, putting the recipes together and then working with um, the guys here at Steam. It's fuggling. So I reckon that there would actually go pretty well with it. Oh yeah, these are the guys, eh? Oh yeah. Just about at the end of the day here, done the double mash, run it off, got an amazing gravity so far on the kettle, coming to the end of the boil, looking at like we're going to get like 12% alcohol, which is going to be a big beer, kind of what we're aiming for. We decided to up the hops, which hey, that wasn't going to be a surprise at the end of the day, even though we had a plan. Um, when we sat down and reviewed the recipe, I was like, nah, we need some more hops and more bitterness. Equals divided by 6,000. <laughs> it has to be a celebration. Epic's involved, Steam's involved. We like to use a lot of hops, so we had to jam a bunch more in.
So the beer is going to be released in December for Epic's 10th birthday. This is the thousandth brew here at Steam Brewing Company. It's going to be a pretty small batch because of the fact that it's 12%, so there's a lot less water in it than a normal beer. So if you get a chance to try the beer or see a bottle, grab hold of it. It's going to be packaged in some pretty crazy awesome packaging, which we haven't finalized, but we've got some great ideas. When you see it, you're going to know that it's special. So if you see it, grab it. Enjoy.